Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 33. Yesterday, we went over a couple structures that got tight and correlated directly with the pull-up, and they were on the posterior aspect of the shoulder. Today, we're gonna think a little bit more systematically, come around more to the anterior portion of the thoracic cage. However, still relate and correlate directly with shoulder function. What we got today is the serratus anterior. It's often a muscle that's forgotten about or overlooked during shoulder pain. However, still really, really important because what it does is it attaches up here to the top eight or nine ribs and then it works its way all the way around underneath here and it comes to the back portion, the medial side portion or the inside portion, the side closer to the spine on the shoulder blade itself. So what it does, come on out here for me, please. What it does and how it can relate to the pull-up exactly is we have a shoulder blade just like this. As Greg here abducts, what it does is it brings the shoulder blade up and out of the way, giving more room to the shoulder and the arm to come up overhead. So here's the problem one more time, just show it one more time. Up and out of the way, giving room for the shoulder as we go overhead. So, okay, great. So what happens is when those, those fibers get really tight through a bunch of the CrossFit activities that we do, that shoulder blade doesn't like to move up and out of the way. So now it kind of stays down there and we bring the arm up. We only have the arm uh, going up and not the shoulder blade itself. So we get the chance or the possibility for some impinging situations. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to smash and stretch the serratus anterior for better shoulder function. We got it here, a hard form roller. We're going to come up here. We'll, we'll do this all on the right hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the foam roller right up here in my ribs and unlike when I do my lat, when I externally rotate the shoulder, here what I want to do is I want to internally rotate the shoulder. I want those lat tissues to be flaccid so now I can get in a little bit deeper onto the serratus anterior itself. And as I get on there, those like they're like inner digitations to the, those top ribs, I can just roll back and forth. I find those tender spots of dysfunction and I turn those tens into fives. I'm gonna spend a couple minutes here just prepping the tissue for the stretch. Once I do that, I'm gonna come up here in my doorway. I take my, the same hand that I just did it with, I'm gonna put that hand in my back pocket like such, okay? From right here, the mobilization portion is just taking a couple deep breaths. Shoulder gets depressed down, take a nice deep breath in, chest rises. What you'll feel is a little bit of that stretch underneath the armpit right here. Okay? Do about three or five of those. Another deep breath in. Shoulder always stays down. Any shoulder pain with that guys, obviously uh, adjust it so that you don't or just discontinue that exercise. Next one, arm comes up over top of the head. What we're trying to do here now is just kind of like lean and fall away with our body and we're gonna come in, push our, push our chest in as the arm gets brought back around. And again, we're gonna stretch out this whole portion right here. So, again, just to, just to wrap up. First we smash, then we stretch, and that in, t in turn is gonna to try to help improve serratus anterior, improve shoulder function. Until next time, guys, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.